Hello, everybody. It is Saturday, January 16th right now, and we're looking at Ethereum. There's a bunch of things going on. We're reaching very critical levels again. Are the buyers going to come in and break above this level finally? Or no, are we going to pass through this huge resistance? This is not even one line. I can't even draw one line here just to kind of show it. It's more of a, just a zone in general that we keep on, you know. Every time we hit it, it's just I don't even like trading this at the moment. But um, it definitely does look bullish. And But the downsides, the, the, the move downwards is, is scary, right? So if you're, if you're doing this for the long term, obviously this is different. This, this does not affect you much. Unless you're trying to maybe buy the dips, unless you don't like seeing your money going down when you buy at these specific areas. But just a quick update on everything here. This is the zone we're looking at, right? There's a lot of things going on. Every time we reach it, massive shoot downs. But then again, buyers come right back in, right? So a lot of people that are trying to buy the dips, a lot of people that are trying to get it at a discount, right? So even when we reach here, some people that, let me just uh, put my right here so every time we go back down here a huge nice buying opportunity for certain people then we go back up test resistances then again shoots right back down people come in again shoots right back up we gain some momentum as soon as we get close to this zone again we shoot back down and look at this one this is the most interesting that's why i'm looking at the two hour right now um this as soon as, as soon as we broke out of the 100 ema we definitely do, did find support the 200 ema down here at the two hour we struggled a bit here we went a bit sideways so we were going up we're seeing a lot of small candles with wicks to both sides so if i zoom in a bit we're seeing a lot of indecisiveness indecisiveness in the market we're seeing that the 8 ema was also holding us down and as soon as we broke above it went down retested went back sideways tried to go back to the 100 ema didn't work long wicks and indecisiveness a lot of indecisiveness as soon as we broke above it People went in, bought it, and now we're went back down to retest, and now we're shooting right back up to this zone. So, um, the most interesting candle that I'm seeing um, uh, between today and yes, uh, between today and yesterday is this candle right here. This candle right here, and I'm seeing a lot of this. This long wick to the bottom is actually very nice. It's showing you that although we're dropping heavy when we reach this buyers are sitting at the sideline every time pushing it upwards regardless of the drop the drops we're having are massive boom obviously this is because of bitcoin but then again we're, we're reaching all-time highs at the same time like bitcoin um uh, not like bitcoin sorry but every time bitcoin moves down we're obviously seeing that reflected on the price action but with ethereum i mean we're seeing you know 13 percent decrease as we go up what happened here let's say almost again 13 14 percent decrease and it looks like we're finding the support at this line right but we're also finding the support at the 100 ema and we're also finding support at 200 ema and right now we're seeing rejection in that zone we are seeing rejection um the fact that we saw that we as soon as we broke but down below here it went all the way down and within a time interval of two hours buyers were in trying to buy the dip and actually, within two hours, we went all the way down to here. 8%. And then buyers literally bought the dip. So now when we break down again, we could actually just find that support at the 55 EMA or the 100 EMA again and this line again. Meaning that I think this is a very nice support line. And I think that this is an extremely hard resistance to break. That doesn't mean that we won't break it, but it means that we it's 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 going to be very volatile every time we get here. And I'm suspecting that it's actually OK for us to actually even drop again right now. As we speak, we're seeing that reflected as we try to go above. But also, if you're looking at it from a more bullish way, there's this resistance that we actually broke. Or maybe somewhere here, I would say somewhere here now we're below it but i would say somewhere on the 1240 1250 maybe 1245 this resistance we tried to break above it pushed up this used to be very bullish every time you see a candle like this at, at a breakout at a very heavy resistance zone there's usually you know continuation but just because there's a lot of sellers selling here it's going down and now we kind of broke below the two hours is going to close in 21 uh, 23 minutes if it closes looking like this like a hammer candle which is um something like this get a long way to the to the upside and then you get your hammer 
and uh yeah it's just showing you that for closing below and right now that we're definitely pushing down um uh yeah this is a bearish inverted hammer if you see after a top out like that it usually has to go down something similar to this this is not a hammer but i mean it's just showing that the body is a wick to the top side body's narrow and this here same thing as long as we're closing below the open so this is the open price right here this was the open and then we go below what we opened that right right here and it's also showing us that we did try to go above what we did we, but we couldn't so now um uh, you know if you watch our videos you can tell that um uh we don't like looking much at the MACD and the stochastic RSIs when we get to these price levels right here because it starts to kind of jam the readings on this MACD. So the MACD right now is showing on the two hour that we are kind of going down a bit. We're taking down 22 minutes to close. If we're looking at the RSI itself, we're seeing that, boom, there is a downtick, right? And we're looking at this line right here, somewhere like right here where's the oversold region but i'm seeing a downtick right here and i'm also seeing that there's a squeeze so we're reaching a very critical level buyers and sellers are actually fighting um do we have enough to break it right now i'm not sure i'm not going to claim that i know but if we're just looking at everything here looks like the buyers are waiting on the line and i think right now if bitcoin actually does go up we're going to break this all over again so um we are making lower highs so if we do re get rejected somewhere around here we go down all the way down here and if this does not hold or if the emas do not hold i think we did attempt the first time we did attempt the second time and it was a lower high if this case continues to go down again this area right here is extreme volatility i would honestly suggest if you're you know if you're trying to day trade this and you know it's not like you have a lot of experience in this then this is a zone where anything could happen um uh, i don't like trading it you know there's a lot more riskier day traders right there you know making a lot of money from this but to me i'm, I'm more of a conservative trader i don't like jumping into and to think like that like this a lot but i try to protect my money regardless so anyway so we're reaching this apex somewhere around here so many things can happen we're seeing the selling happening right now we're seeing that if we're looking at the volume every time we dip and make a value like that there's a huge move that happens right the volume goes up like crazy and it doesn't matter it could be selling or buy volume but there's always that dip always that when we go down create a value and start picking right back up again and it's, you can see it in the price action here we're reaching that area where something major is about to happen um i'm leaning more towards another um drop right now obviously i think it could drop easily but um in terms of predicting it right now i think it also depends on what bitcoin has if i'm looking at the bitcoin dominance chart this line right here let me just remove all these uh things for you right and the emas look what happens here every time bitcoin dom so this bitcoin dom is showing you in terms of total market cap in the market right now bitcoin dominance is sitting at so 67 percent of of the um, market cap in crypto is literally fully for bitcoin and as it goes down right over time you see that ethereum picks back up so if bitcoin right now actually keeps on going down people may do take their money from bitcoin and put in other altcoins or ethereum or whatever it is the case might be every time we do drop and if this continues to drop then ethereum will keep going up and ethereum has a lot of good signs that it actually could go up i think volatility is about to happen i'm uh, gonna see a lot of things going but um uh yeah well, it's, it's interesting times right now very interesting so uh I'm not going to call this. I'm not going to say it's going to go up or down. I think buyers are in. I think we're going to see the volatility. I think we could actually do break. They're ready. They're sitting. As soon as we break above this, we need to reach this, guys. Very critical level. We need to break above this. If we don't, and right now we do get rejected, come back in and stay here, and we don't break above, then Ethereum is going to drop. That's what I think is going to happen. So make sure you join our Discord. Make sure you um, uh, stay and follow up uh, on uh, some of those videos and uh, yeah just comment in the description below tell me what you think and if uh, if um, uh, you like this video please uh, press on the like uh, button and um, uh, yeah thank you for watching